Let's get it up. Could be a tremendous main event. Let's break down our fighters with the tail of the tape. Fighter ready? Fighter ready. Let's go. Fight! This is one we've all been waiting for. The main event is officially underway. They've linked up and he's got the double underhooks. They are fighting for position up against the cage. Shamrock with the slam! The judges are scoring this fight with a 10-point must system, meaning the winner of each round gets 10 points, the loser 9 or less, and the matchup itself is being governed by the unified rule set. He's moved into full mount. This could be the beginning of the end. Yeah, he, he's going for the Americana. Moral, if he wants to get out of this hole, he's got to pull his elbow into his side and pop his hips up and make room for the guard or pull himself out the back door. Stop! He tapped oh, he's tapping he and that's out. it. The fight's over. What a superb submission victory. Yeah, he really had that shoulder lock. Like that Americana. This should be a classic. It is time for the main event. They are fighting against the cage. He has the overhook and the underhook, hence the name the over-under. Over it. Secures the trip takedown, and he is now in control. He transitions into half guard. Nicely done as he passes the half guard into side control. Couture is capable of mixing it up style-wise, but what's his foundation? What does he fall back on in times of trouble? He wouldn't be the first guy to become an MMA fighter with a wrestling background, but he's certainly looking to be one of the best. Slam. It just vibrated my chair. Solid right hand. Beautifully executed right hand to the head. Yes, that's nice. Nicely done as he passes the half guard into side control. That was a terrific sweep. He's working from the closed guard. He's trying to neutralize his opponent. And really what he's trying to do here is control his posture. That's it. That's it. Way to go. Couture has wrist control, and this could spell problems for his opponent. He lands a punch to the head. Ooh, great reflexes on display here as he catches that punch. Nicely done as he sneaks in that short left. They're now at close quarters and he's able to secure the double underhooks. Overing is really working to get the double underhooks. Couture lands a left punch. Oh, the fighters switch spots, reversing position. Picks him up and slams him down. Couture scores his first kick of the fight. The aggressor secures the clinch. Overing doing a nice job of gaining the double underhooks. Good one. Do it again. Great combination of knees there. That's how you break down your opponent. Puts him down on the canvas with a slam. 
Couture is going for his first submission attempt of this fight. These two have been locked in an epic submission struggle, but it looks like he's about to escape. This is quite the show. Each of these guys is determined to end this struggle. Oh man, I think he's gonna be able to survive it. Wow, I can't believe over is back in this fight after a lengthy submission battle. And I gotta admit, I thought we were witnessing the end. I thought for sure he was done here in that submission position, but he was able to get out and change the game. Great look. All right, he's going for the arm bar. This could be it. Now that is a lot straight. Up. Man, he put a lot into trying that submission, but just like that, it was gone. Did he give up on that submission? It's like it was an accident or something. He passes the guard and moves into side control. Oh, that one. Oh, he's going for the arm bar. He has to fully extend it here. Watch out. Good job on escaping that arm bar submission attempt. Tough position here, but to escape it, if he's quick, he can pull his elbow into his side and turn and face his opponent real fast, protecting his arm, getting him to a better position. He's able to transition into side control. remain in the round. Couture lands a left punch to the head. And that's the end of round number one. And here's a chance to revisit some of the action from the previous thing. Fire ready? Fire ready. Let's go. Fight. Man, thank goodness we are paid to be announcers and not just... He puts him down on the canvas. And that moral is how you take somebody down. Power double, through the hips, and straight to the canvas. He's got them out. This could be dangerous. Good one. Do it again. Do it again. Couture sporting the blue gloves tonight. His opponent, the red. Nicely done as he passes the half guard into side control. The judges are scoring this fight with a 10-point must system, meaning the winner of each round gets 10 points, the loser 9 or less, and the matchup itself is being governed by the unified rule set. Overy throws a nice-looking right to the head. He passes the guard and moves into side control. Well, we've seen a number of takedowns in this fight. Uh, this is a matchup that will likely be won on the ground. There's a riddle in this fight, and neither fighter can figure it out. How do you stop the takedown? He caught him in the body with that knee strike. They now create separation. Oh, he drops him right down the canvas with a beautifully executed single leg. Over really wants to end this fight via armbar submission. Couture escapes the armbar. He lands a right punch. Nice! He just caught the punch. That's it. That's it. Way to go. Oh, he lands a punch. There's a punch that scores. He passes the guard and moves into side control. He's moved into full mount. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, I don't think his opponent was expecting that one. That reversal looked almost too easy. Well done! He's able to transition into side control. Beautifully done as he moves into full mount. He secures the back mount, and this is definitely not where you want to be if you're the man on the bottom.
Couture lands a shot to the head. Oh, he's postured up, and he could start to deal some heavy blows right here. Oh, I thought he was able to posture up, but great head control on display here. Oh, great job in getting his back. That's it. That's it. Way to go. There's a solid left punch to the head. Oh, he's given up his back, and this could be the beginning of the end. It's a bad position, Mario. He's got to get hand control immediately, and he, he has his back. Wait a minute, it looks like yeah, he, he's going for a rear naked choke. Once your arm is deep under that chin, you just need to grab your other hand or grab your bicep, create a nice, clean figure four or barrier, then pull your elbow back, cutting Son, choking his head. Finish the submission. Man, after such an incredible battle, it would be so tough to lose this hold. Oh, this submission game is like watching two fighters on a seesaw. They've been battling for some time. You can get the submission. Go for it. Are you kidding me? This submission struggle, and that's what it is. A struggle continues. When will it end? Man, after such an incredible battle, it would be so tough to lose this hold. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he might actually get out of this one. Man, after all that work, if he doesn't get this submission hold, oh boy, is he going to be disappointed. Oh, he's, he's tapping, tapping, and that's it. The fight's over. What a superlative submission victory. That was a great way to end the fight. I wouldn't be surprised if that was submission of the night. All right, let's take a look at some replays from the recent action. For the official decision, here's our announcer.